every day when I walked out of my house and stood in front of the door and talked to, talked about PPE, talked about vaccines, talked about borders, talked about all the things we were doing across the country to be there for each other. I kept thinking about Canadians who stepped up. Have you played a role in inflaming some of the rhetoric that has now is now enveloped this campaign that still has three weeks to go before election day? I think it's really important that we all reflect on our role as citizens in a democracy, as leaders. Prime Minister, I've covered elections for the last 10 years in Canada and I've never seen this level of anger at a political protest in those 10 years. So what is going on here? Is this reflective of a trend that's going on in Canada, perhaps fueled by American style politics? Um, what, what just happened there? I think we've seen over the past year with this pandemic, uh, an increase uh, in anxiety, an increase in anger and frustration, uh, a sense of powerlessness in a whole bunch of people who you know, feel like the world is unfolding in ways that they can't control. And that is really scary for an individual, for a community. I think we all need to reflect on whether or not we do want to go down that path of anger, of division, of intolerance. I've never seen this intensity of anger on the campaign trail or in Canada. Not when I was a kid, even with my dad visiting out west, where we did see anger. Certainly not in my past 12 years as a politician, where I regularly see protesters. And I think this is something that Canadians, all of us, need to reflect on. Because it's not because it's not who we are.